Hi, it's Gordon here at Avalite, and I'm going to take you through recording some basic macros on your console. If I go to soft key F of open workspace window, I can access a workspace window called macros. You can either tap next a number of times, or you can start typing in the word macros to get this window up. As soon as you have access to it, put it anywhere that you would like. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a macro that will make a simple color chase over my spots. I can open up the capture visualizer so that you can see how this chase is progressing. Macro, recording macros inside Titan. Just listen and repeat any interactions with the console that you have done. If I hit record, create chase, and tap a playback, then I'm going to start recording a chase. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this inside a macro. So I'm going to hit the macro hard key and on soft key B I have record. It's very important to name your macros so I'm going to name this one chase maker. Soft key D we have a toggle switch whether we record it in full speed or real time. Full speed is very useful for things like recording macros to make chases for you. Real time is particularly useful if you're lamping on a number of moving heads and you want to stagger them turning on as this records the gaps in between all of your interactions as well. I'm gonna record this one in full speed. As soon as I hit record, you can see that the macro button is flashing, but I still have full access to my console. If I grab those lights, hit locate, record, create chase, and tap a playback, every single one of these interactions has been recorded inside that macro. If I hit one color palette, a pen step, another one, a pen step, another one, a pen step. Every single one of these interactions is still being recorded inside that macro. As we can see, that button is still flashing. If I tap clear and exit one or a hundred times, it will be stored inside that macro up until I press the macro button once again. Now you can see it has stopped flashing. This means that it is no longer listening to any interactions that I do. Because I didn't put it into this workspace window straight away, I'll need to go into the show library. I can tap soft key F of open workspace window and find my show library. You can see there, just at the top of the screen, is my macro called Chase Maker. If I move that from my show library into my macros workspace window, then inside this one button is all of the interactions that I did to make this chase. If I delete, double tap, then I've deleted that chase. If I fire this macro, you can see that it has made me that same chase once again. These macros, they don't look at any legends or any information that you're using. Proven by if I move this chase here and I move a different group into this space in my groups window, this macro is going to perform those same interactions. So I grabbed the second group in this groups window. I located, I hit record and create chase. I tapped this last playback here. I then selected these three color palettes appending each step. Now you'll be able to see that these beams have got the same chase going on them as these spots. This can save you some valuable time. Hope that's useful. Thanks for watching and tune into the next one.